Hi guys, welcome to the channel. This is a video on how to draw trend lines. It's a very basic video, so we won't go into concepts of what's good trend line and what's bad trend line, but we're gonna go into how to draw trend lines. It's a very basic video, very important video to know, uh, and a very important concept to understand in technical analysis. Now, my name is Sasha. I'm here to teach you about technical analysis, the right way to do technical analysis, the art of technical analysis. Uh, I also got secondary channel. You might check it down in the comments, so not comments in the description, and check it out to learn more about technical analysis. Now, let's get started with trend lines. Trend lines are basically, uh, you know, price is going a certain way, Price is going a certain way and we got a, you know, upper trend line and lower trend line, uh, you know, uh, at least in this part over here, we got uh, both of these lines are trend lines. This is uh, lower trend lines, also called a support. This is upper trend lines, also called, uh, called a resistance because the price cannot actually escape towards the upside or a price cannot escape to the downside, meaning it's holding it as support. So we got a support and a resistance, but both of these are trend lines up here. Now, how do you draw this? Uh, often people oftentimes people ask do you use the body or the wick of the candle now when you got some kind of candle up here with the upper wick and bottom wick all of these are candles uh, this is the wick of the uh, this is the wick of the candle and this is the body of the candle we do not ever use the body we always use the wick without exception every single time we use the wick so when you're enjoying the uh, trend lines we always use the wick we never use the body of the candle so that's very important concept to understand uh, so without uh, further ado let's start drawing the lines right now over here uh, for this over here we'll do draw you something called uh, extended line up here and you can already see this uh, trend up here it goes for we, we can start you know we can start using uh, the uh, start drawing the trend lines uh, it really doesn't matter which week you use uh, I mean what does matter is that the line gets hit a lot of times <laughs> uh, we want the line to get hit as as much time on the dollar i mean as close as possible the line to confirm that the line is actually legit so the way we confirm that a certain trend line is good is by hitting the line uh, as correctly as possible a lot of times that will show that the line is actually legit so this line for example up here is a very good line for example you know it hits it one time here one time here one time here three times and then you got these two tops up here that's not actually so it's a very good line but there is also on a secondary line up here that can be drawn uh, on this chart and we can use this week and this week so it's also a very good line because you know it still hit this week up here this week up here this week up here three weeks in a row up here and you know you can uh, argue that this week or this week is uh, actually good but you know the more time something gets hit the better the line is so this is a very good trend line and this is how you draw trend lines now uh, when you zoom in a little bit up here i mean just just to show you up here when you zoom in a little bit up here you'll show see here that this is the week but this candle uh or you know, you know we don't uh, ever uh, use the body down here like we said uh, previously we always use the uh, we always use the week we don't use the body so we always use the week never the body down here but over here you can see that the body and the week are almost the same way so this is perfectly okay to do because the body and the and the wick are at the same place give or take right it's it's okay to do but this is not okay to do because the wick is all the way up here and you should use the wick also when you are drawing the lines use this tool down here this is magnet tool so when you click the magnet the line kind of pops uh, uh, to the wick to the wick that way you can get very precise uh, precise uh, lines with this because if you don't use this then you'll you have to use you know by the eye and you know you know you try to you know hit by the eye and it, when the distance is short you know it, it will actually you know hit the line but when you zoom out and you look at the big bigger di distances if you are not exactly on the dollar when it comes to you, you know putting the line then you, you know this is the line that I put right now uh, without the magnet but if I have the magnet and use the magnet you'll see that the, the two lines the further distances they they, they kind of are not parallel right they, they kind of uh, go away from each other so when drawing the lines use the magnet use the extended tool because it's often very useful to see back in time that uh, if the price maybe somewhere back in time also maybe hits the line as well 
right it's useful to see back in time as well if it hits the line uh and you can see how many times it gets hit the more time it gets hits the better the the better the trend line is so let's right now at the end of the video let's just draw a lot of trend lines so you'll see how this is done in practice uh, we always try to find some kind of pivot points, uh, pivot points, some kind of, uh, uh, you know, we, by, by looking at the chart, you already can see there is line here, 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 there is all kind of trend lines. And these are important concepts in uh, in uh, in tech analysis that there, there is a reason why all of these lines exist and how we use these lines. Now, that's out of the boundaries of this video. But let's just draw a couple of lines and see how this actually could, could work. This is very nice lines because it's got hit here, here, here. Very nice trend line. Uh, on the bottom side down here, we can use these two weeks, but up here, it's kind of gets all, all through the uh, everything up here. Uh, so maybe there should be some other line up here uh, that's actually a little bit more uh, adjustable down here. Uh, one week, two weeks. It's not actually hitting a, a lot of stuff up here. Uh, maybe on a different time frame. Let's see if we can, uh, you know, hit up here something like here it, it looks nice it looks nice because over here this uh, trend line up here it hits both of these stops up here uh it kind of hits this one over here and you know it goes through uh it hits this one up here it hits this uh this down here and also you know almost hits this one so this line up here it's a, a pretty decent line also to notice that you can, you'll notice that the trend lines can go through the chart as well which it does matter all we want to know when we are drawing trend line it's how many times we hit the line it doesn't matter which side we hit the line from so you know the chart can go through the line up and down uh, only thing uh, we want to know is that the line goes uh, hit gets respected we call this respect every time a line gets hit that's that's respect so let's draw some more lines let's, let's find some more nice lines up here on the chart uh, let's see down here if we can have any kind of trend up here maybe from all the way down here to the top up here yeah this is a nice trend you can see here how it starts going up and then you know confirms the trend confirms the trend all the way up here you know uh you know these very nice hits very nice hits you know starts all the way up there and you can see this is where the trend you know breaks and goes sideways up here uh so this is very nice trend line up here uh, for example up here uh let's find some more trend lines uh as a you know as a test up here you can see this trend line up here is it's kind of okay-ish uh which one maybe this one up here is better i think this one is nicer a little bit uh there, there are several reasons for it but uh, uh it, uh, it you know these three these three weeks over here down here almost hitting it down here and then there is this week down here also this stop down here as well and these weeks are holding it so it's a nice trend line so you can see not everything is exactly the right often people will say that this trend line you know you have to use the bottom weeks you don't have to do that uh, you can say that this is the trend line but often it's not because this is only hitting it maybe two times up here two times and then this uh, this up here it is nice but it's it's not exactly what we want we want to we want the line to get hit as many times as possible uh, to get a, a little bit better sense of where we are going at right maybe it's even something like this up here maybe it's down uh, down there so you can see it's art of tech analysis because there is no uh, exact there is no exact uh, answer to where the line should be. There is no exact answer. Let's try down here, up here, on this move up here. You'll see that uh, the price is uh, slowly uh, going towards the upside up here. Support, support, support. Once it breaks this uh, trend line, it goes back, goes up, uh, hitting the trend line, and uh, goes sideways. So very nice trend line up here. So you can see how this works. Uh, we try to, you know, we start, you know, oftentimes we can start somewhere in the middle up, and then you know pull the line and see if it fits. It, it, it kind of fits. It doesn't fit, you know. But we try always to find better lines, uh, better lines up here. Maybe something like this. Uh, maybe it's not doing exactly that what we want up here. Uh, and uh, maybe some like this up here you can see this line is very nice but it's not confirming with this uh, that's that's why these extended lines are nice uh, to use because oftentimes you will see back in time and forward in time especially back in time if it actually confirms the line uh, so sometimes you know you might want to use some other lines you can see here back, if you use this one for back in time line it confirms with these uh, weeks down here 
uh, let's see down here maybe something like this up here let's see because we already see that up here something is happening and down here something is happening so maybe one of these lines is uh, you know bigger trend lines is this but this is probably on the weekly time frame while we are talking right now on the daily time frame but let's see down here in the small time frames I think uh, you know small time frames we gotta zoom in down here uh, I think this is the line up here you can see how nicely it is getting respected uh, you know that the line is being respected if he gets hit a lot of times and get rejected so one two three four five six times even if we broke that this to the upside this is still the trend line that needs to be followed so you know uh, down here if there was no, no trading up here let's say we were here in 12 June right now so we are not seeing this part over here you could have all, already drawn this line so even this breakout fa failure of the breakout towards downside we will still have this line up here to follow and see as a resistance and on, on breakout of resistance this actually continued towards the upside up here this one was failed but you know this continued to roll upside because we are some kind of bottom down here so this is how you draw the trend lines uh this is a very you know basic instruction video always use the always use the wicks always have as most uh, touches on the line as you can get there is no correct line there is only better lines than other lines uh, and you know it, it's it's kind of art you know you need kind of practice you need to, to figure it out but you know this is how you do trend lines thanks for watching the video check out the uh, link down below for the secondary channel and that's that guys uh, subscribe to the channel uh, and I will post a lot more videos on other uh, stuff bye bye